Okay. First, oh my gosh, yes. Whenever I have like makeup on, sometimes I really want to do the like, I just got a nose job face. The, hey guys. Yeah, I look this good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you doing? Right there, I'm talking to you. I don't know why I always sound like the sex monster in Big Mouth. Let's watch the sex scene from Dallas Buyers Club. How you guys doing? No! Mama, por qué? Hi, mom. So no distractions later. Today's video, guys, I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing our monthly BoxyCharm unboxing. It is the month of August. I cannot believe we're already in August and this year has been shut down. <gasps> we ain't going <laughs> God! We're stuck here. I have my two boxes. We have the regular box and we have the premium box. Now we're gonna be going through both of them. Of course, you guys, this is a partnership with BoxyCharm that I do every single month. So shout out to BoxyCharm for partnering with me in today's video. Basically what it is. We're gonna see the content of the box and see whether you like them, we don't like them. You know, it is what it is. I'm very, very honest about these boxes and I'm very, very opinionated of what I think of the products inside the boxes. And that's why I feel like I like doing these because I'm very honest and upfront about them. So BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service and you guys can pay $25 to get the regular regular box in the mail, $25. This comes to your house every mother month. And then the premium box, you guys upgrade for an extra $35 and you guys get the premium box. And sometimes there's a Lux box that month. There's a lot of boxes. If I say box one more time, slap me. That's why I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I'm actually going to be using the products that we got and see what we find. So yeah, guys, that's today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch another video that. What if you guys do like this video? If you guys like unboxing, if you guys like the gays, click like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But yeah, let's go and get into this box. Double box. <laughs> like a virgin. Ooh, I have one pimple right there. That's the good thing about having a beard is that you just kind of conceals it a little bit, a little concealing. First box, we have the boxy charm. Spa glam- I don't know. It just says spa glamping sunbathe yoga slumber. It's basically summer. Um, I've had some pre-workout already, so um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> first things first, what do we see? We have a mm, the flavor. We have a Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Face Moisturizer from Glam Glow. A moisturizer, this guy retails for $54. 54 doll hairs. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I'm just gonna put it on my face right now and just moisturize me. It feels very pleasant, actually. Super lightweight. Oh my God, come on, Glam Glow. I live. The fact that it's $54 and it's already coming inside the box. You guys already made your money back like that. My face always gets so red when I have my moisturizer and like primer and shit. Next, we have the Butter London Teddy Boy Eyeshadow Palette. Should I do this whole video in an accent? What was that accent? So this is from Butter London. This guy retails for $28 hairs. You know what, this box is called Glow Glamping. That's what the box is called. It's glamping. We're glamping. Teddy Boy Palette. So this is what this palette looks like right here. There is nine shades in here. Honestly, the color story, it's not my favorite, darling. It's not my favorite. And that was better. Because it's very insanely cool tone, like so cool tone. If you guys like cool tone colors, this is gonna be your palette. Cool tone, the house down. But I'm not a cool tone kind of girl. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna see if we like that. Next, we got the Morphe I Got This brush set. This guy retails for $12. That's a little eye set. I'm excited. I'm gonna use these brushes today. Oh my god, I'm also so excited to be using my Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes. Period. <laughs> but this little guy. <laughs> that smells like war. It smells like war. Okay, cool. So we have four brushes in here. Honestly, the brushes look nice. It's just a nice black, feral black handle. These look actually really nice. I'm impressed. Okay guys, next we have the Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. This guy retails for $24. So that's this guy right here. This is actually like a really nice tone. I feel like this is actually going to match me nicely. That's a good color. I like that. It's not too cool, not too warm. Hmm, let's see it on the skin though. And the last one, we have the Real Her Definer Brow Pencil. That guy retails for $16 and that's Real Her. So this is what it looks like. It's a really, really small, tiny, skinny pencil. Oh, it's pigmented. It's nice. Okay, we can do little brush strokes. Mm-hmm, and maybe a little spoolie on the other end. Of course, this is the smallest spoolie I've ever seen. Is that a spoolie for an ant? A center for ants? Cool guys, so that was actually it for the first box. And there's some promising products in here. I'm actually really enjoying the regular box. Other than the palette, the color story, it's not my tea. But everything else I was like, oh, hmm, I'm excited to try it. So now I'm moving on to the big box. Okay. First, oh my gosh, yes. We have the first product is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. 
I love Sunday Riley. Should I just pile the moisturizer on top of this one? Fuck, if I would have known, damn it. I really like Sunday Riley moisturizer so much. I'm taking a little bit. Let me just moisturize, please. Vitamin C rich. Oh my God, it smells like naranja. That's oranges. Oh, I want to lather it. Oh my God, I just love it. It smells divine. This is honestly more of like a daytime moisturizer. It has vitamin C and things like that. Brightening properties. Imagine these two like didn't like mesh well together and I broke the fuck out. I'd cry. That's amazing. This guy retails for $65. Sunday Riley is definitely a higher end skincare brand, but truly their stuff is so divine. That moisturizer alone just paid for your entire box. I'm just saying. Next, we have the Ciate London New England Editor Palette. If this color story is better, I'm gonna use this one instead of the other one because the other one's not that cute to me. Please be cute, please be cute opening it together. Oh my God. Oh, it's cute. And cute's a strong word. It is, it's something. No, honestly, it actually is cute. It's a ton of shimmers and a few mattes. To me, I've never been a bitch that's like, yay, a lot of shimmers in a palette and not that many mattes. For me, I actually enjoy more mattes than shimmers and palettes because I feel like you can just do so much more with mattes than you can do with shimmers. But I'm excited to try this out. I'm gonna, probably gonna use this one more than I'm gonna use the other one because I actually like this color story more. Cause there's like some nice shimmers in there. It looks pretty. I'm gonna swatch this maroon one because it looks stunning. Oh, this gold. The gold, not so much. The red one, yes. The green, the green, yes. That's Christmas. This really pretty bronze shade. Shit, that one's nice too. This, honestly, some of these shimmers are stunning. Okay, Ciate, I see you. So the Ciate London palette actually retails for $32 and that comes with 18 shades, which obviously like that's a good ass price point for 18 shades. It's made in China. So obviously it's, you can like price things a little bit lower because things are less expensive over there. I still like the, the quality, that's pretty nice. For 32 bucks, that's pretty fucking good. See how to go. Go, run. Next, we have the Dermalect Cos... You guys, these words are hard. Dermalect Cosmeticals. Cosmeticals. Yeah. Revital Revitalite XL Lash Volumizer. Listen, I graduated college so many, like six years ago. Um, that guy retails for $49. A brow and lash serum. Extra large lash volumizer. Okay, cool, so it's literally a little serum. You know what, I will say, for $49, this packaging is not it. This cheap ass drugstore packaging for $49. I mean, obviously the packaging like doesn't matter as much because it's like, it's supposed to be about the product inside, but for me, the whole entire thing is an experience and I wanna experience something good, especially for $49. Does that make sense? Like, does that really make sense right now? I'm just gonna come with my brows, I'm just curious. But for 49 bucks, I'm ex honestly, I'm expecting more. I need more from you. I need more. Okay, so next we have the Fenty Beauty. Oh. Oh. Fenty Beauty Flower Bomb Shimmer Powder. This guy retails for $28. And this is in the shade Coppa Chill. Where's that gonna go? Super fine all over highlighting powder. Okay, so for me, personally, this fair ass, snow white ass looking skin, it's not happening. Oh my God. It smells like, like coconut. Oh! I love the scent, the fragrance. Okay, so let me just show you guys what this looks like and what it would look like if I highlighted my skin. So you're saying that this deep color this color right here, when I tilt it like that, would go on my face, baby. But see, that's stunning. Like for an eyeshadow, that would be stunning. Maybe I can put it on my lids. But I'll definitely put it on my eyes and see if we can like make it work that way because it's stunning. Second to last thing, you guys, we have the MAC Cosmetics Satin Lipstick in the shade Spirit. Oh my God, that reminds me of Spirit the Horse. I love Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and is a satin lipstick, like we said. Let's go source of shade. That's actually really cute. This like really gorgeous like mauve tone. This is giving me fall fantasy. Oh, I like this tone. We're gonna wear that. I haven't worn a tone like that in so long. You guys, will that look ugly on me? I don't know. We're gonna try that bad guy retails for $19. Do you guys remember when you, back in the day when I worked at MAC, the MAC lipsticks were $16. Or maybe 15, they could be 15, they could be 15 or 16, and now they're 19. Like that's so crazy that they keep going up. What? The fact that we got Mac in here, that's actually pretty cool, I have to admit. And last but not least, you guys, we have the Fenty Beauty Portable Contour and Concealer Brush 150. That guy retails for $24, and is a little portable brush. Come on, Fenty Beauty, we got some Fenty Beauty goodies in the premium this month. So as you can see, it's like a little contour and concealer brush. Oh, I like it, it's cute. Portable. Q 
cute. Honestly, guys, this is a cool box. Like, I'm really, really stoked about this one, too. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put my base on really quickly off camera, and I'll be back, and we're gonna go and start using these garis. So listen, I'm so well aware that this color foundation, it doesn't match me, fam. It doesn't match me. But it's the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I really, really liked it when I tried it, even though it's not my color. I'm obsessed with like the finish of it and the way it looked on the skin. So I'm gonna really lighten this base up with the concealer. I'm gonna take a, a good amount of it just to like really lighten up. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo, by the way. Love this concealer. We're gonna go in with a little Fenty brush and I wanted to use this because it says it's for concealer and I wanna try it out. I actually have not used this for concealer ever. I think I've only ever used this for, I have this brush by the way, that's what I'm saying. I've only ever used this for like blending out contour. But honestly, I don't use it very often because for some reason like this size of a brush, like I actually don't like little brushes like this. <laughs> they tend to be a little, I don't know, a little, they tend to be a little, like literally. I just like larger brushes, but honestly it's absolutely working great. It's a very, very dense packing kabuki brush, so it's fantastic. I feel like this is a great on the go powder brush. If you guys use like powder foundation or wanna like use a powder to like set your face or whatever it might be, I feel like it is much better for that. Like for me, what I would use it for, cause I just feel like this is really, really, it's fat, it's large, like it actually kinda hurts my fingers while I use it. I don't like the way it feels in my hand necessarily. But you know, if you guys like these little brushes, like these little on the go brushes, I think you guys would live. And it makes the concealer spread so well because like it's not soaking up any product at all. So I actually do think you guys would really, really like this. Okay, I'm just blending the edges. Like it did not take off any coverage from my concealer, nothing. It honestly worked gorgeously for concealer. I'm very impressed. Like it did not pick up any product. I mean, obviously there's product on here, but it blended it so nicely. Hmm. That worked really nice. I'm impressed. I'm like, I never use this for concealer. It actually was really, really, really nice. Will I continue to really use it very much? No, but if I, if I want it for like a little on the go moment, maybe I'll reach for it, but chances are pretty low. That's just me being real honest with y'all. I guess I'm matching my face more, right? I'm gonna set my under eye really quickly using the Laura Lee Los Angeles L12 brush. Sickening. Oh, and they're so soft, Laura Lee. Laura, you're sickening. I love you. Feels so nice. Look at this. Look at this quality. Have you guys tried that Too Faced matte born this way? Honestly, I'm really, really liking it. Okay, cool. I'm matching myself a little bit more. I'm not so Caspery. Well, I am. No, I am. But that elf hydrating concealer is fucking. Now let's go in with that Aesthetica Bronza. I feel like it's a nice neutral color. When I'm looking at it, it actually looks a little cool. And I'm nervous, but we're gonna try it out anyway. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L14. Oh, I used, I might have put a little bit too much on the brush. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. It's actually a lot more cool tone than I was expecting. I was expecting something a little more neutral. She's cool. She's very cool to hell. Look at that cool tone. Look at that cool tone dimension. I'm just lightly blending with that brush. Oh my God, these brushes are so freaking soft. So soft. It's like a neutral cool. It's not super, super cool, but it's definitely not warm. Not for me. This, to me, this is more cool tone for sure, but you have a little bit of warmth to it as well. It's not neutral though. I wouldn't say it's neutral. Now that's on my skin, it's like, no, it's pulling definitely more on the cooler side, but for sure. Yeah, just so you guys are aware of that. Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me. Why is that song in my head right now? It was cute. It definitely did the job. I just feel like it's a little more cool than I would go for. I would actually wouldn't uh, bronze up with this color really again. I feel like it's just a little too cool for me. I would definitely more so like sculpting with this, not bronzing with this. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go finish the other, the rest of the complexion. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back and we put some blush on, some highlighter on. I just feel like I look a lot better. With I just warmed up my face in general with some blush, and I feel like it definitely, definitely helps. For me, it helps. Jesus Christ, my highlighter is blinding today. What the. F Freak. Come on, Venus Moon Prism Powder, the fuck? Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the brows. We have a little brow product. Who has heard of this brand? Real her, real hair. <gasps> Maybe it's a, it's a real hair, real her? Fuck, we might be onto something there. Honestly, it looked promising on my hand. Okay, so I'm putting it on and it's very pigmented, glides super easy, holy shit, hell yeah. Hell, you see these little extra brow strokes that I did not have before? Look at that. Daddy, look at that. I don't know about the accent today, you guys. I'm so sorry. Pencil's sickening. It might be a little light for me. I feel like it is definitely a little light for me. It's like this like warm, medium tone brown. And I'm like, ooh, a warm, medium tone brown. I don't know if that's my journey, but I think I can still pull it off. Pull it out. 
blends super, you guys, this is actually a really good pencil. Like I'm actually really, really impressed. It's pigmented as hell and it's super, super smooth. Like it goes on super nicely. It's creamy. That was so fast and like so good. What the heck? That's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish off the brow off camera and prime my eyes and get ready for some shadow. Okay guys, so we are back and the brows, they are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. I need to do back in the browser filled merch or like at least include that in some of my merch coming because honestly, I've officially signed on to like a merch company by the way, about fucking time. And we're gonna do some fucking things. I'm excited, I'm gonna start off small, but I think they're gonna be really cute. Like my ideas in my fucking head, they're gonna be cute as fuck. Anyway you guys, so the brows honestly look sickening. They're obviously very filled, but they look still like natural in a way. The pencil was Sickening. Even though I never heard of the brand before, the pencil was sickening. I really liked it. Eyes are also primed. I use the KVD Shake Primer. I've been really liking this a lot. I use it all the time. What I'm not gonna do is go in with the Teddy Boy palette. I just, I honestly, looking at it more and more, I just don't like it very much. So I'm gonna use the Seattle London one instead. Instead, right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of this nude shade and we're gonna put that into the crease with that Morphe brush that came inside the box. The brushes are honestly totally, totally fine. They're Morphe brushes, like they're not the best, most elite brushes in the world, but they're not bad at all, especially for the price point that you pay. Like really, really inexpensive. I think what, four of these brushes were 12 bucks? That's like $3 a brush, what the fuck? So that's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. And the palette's working great. It's a neutral shade, so I can't imagine it like not looking good. You know what I mean? If a neutral shade was patchy and looked really bad, honestly run, run away. <laughs> Okay, listen, what's gonna go good with this lip? Because we're doing a full mauve moment. A moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. I just did like a green look recently with the one size palette, that was cute. I feel like I just did one of these looks too recently. I'm gonna have to go in with that copper. Taking a little bit of that deeper brown shade over here on my L18 Lower League Los Angeles brush. I'm just gonna pack that out to the outer corner. Oh, she's cute. Okay, cool. It's like a nice like little bit of a warmer medium tone brown just to give me some extra definition and dips. It's really not that pigmented. Like it's really not that pigmented. <laughs> it's only adding some dimension to the look in comparison to the other side, duh but it's really not that pigmented. So don't expect some like super intense, rich color. These are not that. They don't have that kind of depth like a hearty shadow would have. But it looked cute. We can definitely get a cute look going. This scared me until I fucking saw a cool, cool you right now. Do you guys ever like have it where you're in the middle of doing something and you feel like you see something like, like flash next to you or like you feel like you see something move in your room? That just happened to me right now. And I'm like, did I just see something? Taking a little bit of that deepest, darkest shade in the palette. And I know the outer corner. See, for like a really, really, really deep, dark, dark, dark shade. For it to add that much dimension. Mm. What I will say is that honestly, for the price point, like it's, it's honestly, it's not bad. Like for this amount of shadows that you have in here, but are they the best shadows I've ever used? No, they're definitely not the best matte shadows I've ever used. Like I feel like they, like the mattes that they kind of, kind of blend away. They feel like they kind of blend away. There's a little bit of pigment left, of course. There's some left, a little, a little bit of pigment left, but not a ton. Also, why is this like getting kind of mauve and plum? I was expecting some like warm browns and it's turned plum. <laughs> We're gonna go in, I just like really am looking at the shade and loving it. It's asking to be put on my lid, so I'm like, who am I to tell it no? What do we think? Let's see. See, that's actually Storm hang. What I will say of these shades, the shimmers, maybe that's why there's so many shimmers in this palette because the shimmers are like nicer than the mattes are like performance wise. Like a lot of them just like pop like this. Look at that, look at that pop. It's popping. It's quite nice. What accent was that? I don't know you guys, you're, we're gonna have to figure out like where the accents are coming from and where they belong and where they should probably stay. I've been working on my accents. Oh, that's real pretty. Okay guys, I'm gonna go finish the eyes off of camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, so we have the eyes on and a little bit of a lash on and it's cute. Honestly, it's a really cute, neutral, easy look. I'm glad you can create a nice neutral look with that palette, even though it looks a little like intense. You can absolutely create something neutral and cute and warm and festive. Ah, my eyelash is poking me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my God, I must my eyes water. You know when you get that really intense poke and you're like, oh, it's over for me. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with that little Fenty powder because I forgot about it. I didn't really mean to forget about you. I'm gonna just try a little bit on the lid. Obviously it's gonna dilute the color a lot because it's a little bit more muted of a gold. But I just wanna see if it does like a little bit more of a pop. Mm, it didn't really do much necessarily. I just really wanted to try it out. 
You know what? Yeah, it, it actually is adding like a nice pop to it. Yeah, I know it is. It is. It is. It for sure is. Wow. Honestly, that Fenty powder, it is stunning. It is truly stunning. It just honestly will not work like a glow powder, like highlighter for my complexion per se. But honestly, it's stunning. Last but not least, we're going with our little lippy. Let's go in with like a mauve lip liner. And let's mauve this bitch up. <laughs> if I just left at that. <laughs> lip liner on. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go in with Spirit now. Spirit Satin Lipstick. See, it's much darker. This is giving me such Kylie, like, reminiscence vibes. Back in the day, oh, I feel so nice. The satin lipsticks from MAC are so, so nice. We all got a MAC bolt. Ugh! I need to stop talking. Dumb bitch. Yeah, it's dumb bitch o'clock. Oh my god, I haven't worn a color like this in so freaking long. Am I the missing Jenner? Bro, I might be. And that's it, you guys. That's it for the entire glamping boxy charm boxes that we're wearing today on the face. And what do we think? What do we think of the look? How I feel like it honestly turned out really, really cute. Okay, guys. So what do we think of the boxes? Which box won for the month? Let's find out right now. So we're going with the first box, which is obviously the little box. That is the Glam Glow Moisturizer. It's the base box. The Glam Glow Moisturizer retails for fifty-four dollars. Stunning. I actually really enjoyed that. I felt it really nice on the skin and I definitely would wear it again and I can't wait to try it some more. The Butter London Tenny Boy Palette, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It wasn't my tea. I just didn't like the color story. Well, let's give it a little swatcheroo so we can give her a chance, you know? <laughs> the matte felt great. The shimmers, what happened? What happened, dude? Shimmers, these two right here, not very good. The mattes felt really, really nice though. So, yeah. So that's $28. So next, we have the Morphe I Got This Brush Set. Honestly, super cute, great set, totally fine. It's only 12 bucks and it's four brushes. I totally liked it. Definitely a win for me in the book. So that's 12 bucks plus Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. The bronzer itself, the formula, like it's cute, but I felt like it was actually too cool tone for my skin. So I didn't really like it as much as I thought I was going to. Formulation wise, it's super smooth. It's super creamy. It's pigmented. I think the formulation is actually really, really, really nice. I just personally felt it was a little bit too cool tone for my skin. And that's why I wouldn't use it again per se, unless I was literally like contouring with it or like more dimensional type things. So I would say it's a good product for sure. I just didn't like the color for me necessarily. So that guy retail for $24. And then we're gonna go into the defining brow pencil, which I thought was stunning. That's 16. So all of that, you guys, retails for $134, and you guys are paying $25 for the base box. Some of the items were sickening, some of them I didn't love as much, so it's definitely more of like a 50-50 for me on the base box, so we'll see what we think of the large box. So for the premium box, what is the value? We have the Sunday Riley Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Literally so stunning. It's worth it for just that alone. I'm just saying I love Sunday Riley's moisturizers. <gasps> and that's $65. Plus the Ciate London New England Editor Palette. The palette was cute. So I will say that the shimmers were better than the mattes. The mattes just weren't rich in color. Like they definitely got the job done. I definitely got it to a cute spot, but they aren't rich. They don't have that impact and pow factor that a lot of other mattes that I've used have. The shimmers were really, really nice. So I thought they looked fantastic. But for 32 bucks, you get 18 shades. That's like literally less than $2 in eyeshadow. I think it's a really good deal. I just know I won't be reaching for it as much. So that's just my personal opinion. So that was $32. The Cosmet Cuticles Lash Volume. Honestly, I don't know about that because the packaging was cheap as hell. And you have to like use that for a while to really see if you see a difference or not. I combed it through my brows and it felt nice, but like, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of those. So I'm gonna have to try it out a little bit more and see what we think. I don't know, I've also never heard of Dermalect Cosmet. It's a long word. Next, we have the MAC lipstick, which is $19. And honestly, the lipstick is really, really pretty. It's like a really plummy mauve. It's the only way I can describe it, plummy mauve. I love the satin formula from MAC. I think they're gorgeous. And it doesn't look bad on me. Like, I really don't think it looks bad. Is this the color I wear often? Absolutely not. It actually, like, kind of freaks me out looking at it. I'm like, whoa, that's, like, a lot. <laughs> it's cute. It honestly was nice. Felt really great for 19 bucks. Pretty cute. Next with the Fenty Fairy Bomb Shimmer Powder. The, the, sh the powder was stunning. It truly was stunning. I put it on my lid afterwards, and it looks gorgeous. And it gave me that little extra pop, but like it just wouldn't work for my face. So there's that. And then the portable contour concealer brush retails for $24 and that is that. So it ends up, you guys, the premium box ends up being $217 um, for the premium items. So obviously the value is so much higher than the first box. Oh my God, it's like hard. 
You know what I'm gonna say? This month, I actually liked the premium box more. Definitely more of a chef's kiss moment. There was more things in the list here that I actually did enjoy and use. Other than like the lash and brow volumizer, I think everything else was like pretty freaking good. I also wouldn't really use that Fenty brush very often. Like it feels kind of strange in my hand. It's a little dense. I'm like doing this like this. <laughs> but it definitely worked. It's very, really, really nicely dense in the way of like the bristles are really, really packed in. So you're not gonna be wasting a ton of product. It's gonna blend it out gorgeously and it absolutely did. Yeah, I would say this month, August, premium one. Premium did that. So yeah, you guys, that's it. These are my opinions for the month of August. Shout out to BoxyCharm for partnering with me in today's video. Of course, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can sign for BoxyCharm. I always think the box is worth it because you guys are paying such a low amount for such a high value amount of stuff and you get so many different things in here. So I'm like, dude, yeah, it's always worth trying BoxyCharm and seeing what you think. But shout out to BoxyCharm. You guys are fantastic. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to sign up for it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I'll get yourself a night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Little box. Litter box. Okay. We're gonna unbox these boxes and see if the box is worth the bussy. Is there anything in my teeth? Do they look like dentures? Be honest. Why is our motors cross happening right now? I know you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. No one wants to see me naked. Not after quarantine. <laughs> Ow, son of a. Do you know what's funny? It's like when you like hurt yourself and you're bleeding, it hurts more. I can't go to the gym. I just don't. I hate quarantine.